Oh, hey, what's wrong, Jason? I'm insecure. Okie dokie. Why are you insecure? I'm not comfortable around people. One of the biggest misconceptions is that people have is that they're the only ones that are insecure or that have insecurities. And especially uh, involving your twin, right? Like you can have this huge insecurity and feel like your twin just has their shit together. Like they're, they are functioning at a level that is just inconceivable. And you're, you're just like this little insecure coward. And that it's not okay to have insecurities. Like they're insecure about their insecurities. So the purpose of this video is to let you know that it's okay to accept your insecurities. To be okay with them. right? And to let you know that your twin has the same exact insecurities as you. Really? Yes, really. It's okay to acknowledge your insecurities. It's okay to approach them from a place of how can I correct them instead of bypassing them or leapfrogging them in a way that uh, causes you to be inauthentic to yourself. Right? Like you, your insecurities are part of you. It's part of your vulnerability. And as you work on being secure in those areas, it's okay to be who you are. So many people are insecure about themselves. Almost everyone. You know, having to be right. You know, not willing, not being willing to accept that there's a chance you could be wrong at any given time. Being pushy into convincing somebody of something that isn't true. Or, you know, having like a financial insecurity that you're not good enough because you don't make enough money or that you don't, you know, you don't look like a certain celebrity. So you, you're insecure with that or your, your worth, right? Or your job. Or who your friends are, what car you drive, where you live, your personality. Maybe you're not as funny as you think as you want to be or as think that you are. These are things that make you you. They're also things that you can correct. You know, you can you can bring some security to an insecurity. You could feel secure there. You could heal away these insecurities. But in the meantime, allow them to be. Accept them for what they are. They're a part of you. Regardless if you want to uh, lie to yourself or lie to somebody else or um, pretend that they aren't a part of you, they're a part of you. Right? Allow them, allow them to exist as they are. And handle them from that point of view instead of a point of view that you don't have any of these things. That you're Superman or Superwoman or whatever it is. Standard rule of thumb here. Something that everyone can uh, appreciate and understand is that most of the times, maybe all of the times, that you see... You know, that, that really obnoxious, uh, outspoken, like somebody that just like is a bully or, or somebody that is just uh, doing something really dramatic. I'm going to rip you apart. You know, most of the time, those people are really insecure. 
They have a, a huge insecurity. And you can notice this with your twin, right? If you approach them or you contact them and it's like, you know, like an explosion, like this dramatic, and you're like, hey, how are you? And there's this explosion, don't ever talk to me again. I'm going to, I'm, I'm next time, I'm sending the dogs after you. You know, if you can, if you can, if this has happened or, or you can notice uh, something equivalent to this where uh, the most, the even the, even the smallest thing comes this explosive reaction. There's an insecurity there. And your twin is mirroring that insecurity that you have. So understand this. If your twin is acting uh, really dramatic, or if they are acting like their life is this perfect arrangement of extreme bliss and it's in this cute little box with a bow on it they are hiding their insecurities you can't be going through all this this whole journey feeling all of these things and they aren't feeling any of it they're feeling it all just the same as you are right there this is happening to both of you there will always be challenges to overcome. You never get to a place where that's it. Everything's perfect. Nothing more I could do here. Nope. Always be challenges that cause you to grow and expand. Go down to the description box. Click on the links to my website. Uh, look at all the content that's on there. It's very helpful for you uh, along this journey. And, you know, reach out to me, work with me, and I will see you next time.